Shopify payment setup, Shopify for beginners. Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Shopify payments, what are the different payment methods available on Shopify and how you can set them up. So let's get into it. First of all, you can actually go to shopify.com and you will sign up. So you can create your own store on Shopify. This is my store. After you create a store, you will get right here. This is our Shopify admin. Creating a store on Shopify is really easy. All you need to do is you can just, you know, sign up with your Google account or use your Facebook event and we will be getting a free trial with Shopify. So once you get right here, you have opened up your store. You are here on your admin so here we have you can see home order products customers content analytics marketing and discount and we have our online store let's get into setting up our payment method so for that we will actually have to navigate to the setting option right here at the bottom and you will find a lot of different options within settings but you have to click on payments this is the payment section on shopify and it will show you all of the different payments that are available so on Shopify, we have three types of payment that we can go for. We have payment providers, providers that enable you to accept payment method at a rate. Then we have supported payment methods. We have manual payment method. And now we even have payment customization. So I'll show you one by one how to set up like all of these and what how the payments on Shopify work. So first of all, we have a payment provider. So for payment provider, you're going to click on choose a provider. And here you will be able to find a lot of different providers such as ePay, PayPal, Stripe. We have a lot of other payment provider as well. So you're going to scroll down to search for them. You will be able to see a lot of uh, them and it will also show you the different payment methods that are available. So we have payment methods such as I can also uh, customize my search. Let's say I want to accept American Express. I want to accept Apple Pay. We have Discover, Dyer's Club. We have MasterCard, Union Pay and Visa. These are the ones that I want to accept. So it will show me the different payment providers that provide it. So I have to check out right here. At the top will be a payment provider that is available in your region. So now I have these steps right here that I need to do in order to connect this payment method. So a payment provider, it now totally depends on that payment provider. If you're going for Stripe, you will create an account on Stripe and then follow the steps right here within. You will get a setup instruction. I went with to checkout and now I am getting the instructions right here. If this is not available in your region, you'll go with something else. Uh, similarly, you have ePay, you have PayPal, you will just follow the instruction. So for me, it says create a to checkout account, login and activate your account, access the integration, webhooks and API. So I'm going to go to to checkout.com here and I already have an account. So I'm just going to log into it. And once I log in, I'm just going to go ahead and follow these steps and I will be able to connect it. So this is how you connect to checkout. Uh, similarly, if I show you the other payment uh, providers, we have uh, agent, we have AirPay here. So you're going to select AirPay and it will show you the different information you need. So, so you mostly need a merchant account ID that you will find within the settings of the app that you're connecting, a provider that you're connecting. And then we have the HMAC key. You need to add it right here. Click on activate AirPay and you will be able to activate it. So this is how you connect a payment provider. We can even accept crypto with Shopify. So that is actually pretty impressive. And I'll be able to now accept all of these different oh, with a payment provider, it saves us a hassle of uh, adding different payment methods separately. And we can just accept uh, a lot of different uh, payment methods with one provider. Moving on, we have a supported payment method. So a supported payment method will have different uh, methods. For instance, I am looking to accept MasterCard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for MasterCard and add it right here. Then I want to accept Visa. We have American Express available. So now you can scroll down to check all of the uh, supported payment methods. So you can see we have Dynas Club, we have uh, WeChat Pay, we have Klarna, we have Line Pay, we have Litecoin, uh, Bitcoin, we can accept crypto, we have Zip, Alipay, we have others as well, Samsung Card um, and Apple Pay. So all of these different payment methods are available. And again, once you select a payment method, again, it gives you a, a payment providers to go for because what happens is the transaction fee is kind of low 
if you're going with a payment provider. So you can go with Skrill, you can go with Ocean Payment, we can go with Ping Pong Checkout, we have Two Checkout, we have Hit Pay, we have um, uh, On Our Way, Faster Pay, and more. So this is how you will add a payment method. Again, you just need to create an account on that platform on PayPal, on Stripe, on Skrill, and then you will be able to connect it here. All you need to do is just add the merchant ID. So this is the second method. We have supported payment methods available with Shopify. Then we have the manual payment method. So we're gonna click on add manual and here we have create a custom payment method, bank deposit, money order, or cash on delivery. Let's say I want to go for cash and delivery. So I will need to enter additional details here and payment instructions. Click on activate cash and delivery and it will be activated. This is how we add a manual payment method. We can also receive bank deposit with Shopify. Now at the bottom, we have payment customizations. Now this is where I can actually add an app to Shopify because we have a Shopify app store and I can install an application, a payment method that is available and I can add it to my Shopify and that will allow me to customize my payment methods. So this is another option available. Here is inside our payments, we also have the manage option that will allow me to select automatically capture payment for orders or manually capture payment for order. So what happens with this once I have set up a payment method, do I want it to work automatically or do I want to actually approve the payments every time so it totally depends on you and you can choose from here this is how we set up payments on shopify and this is all about the payments uh, we do with shopify so when it comes to a platform you should check out you should definitely create an account on stripe i think um, it's very easy you'll be able to get an account for free you can go for a two checkout you can go for if you have paypal if you have apple pay then there is no problem at all you will be able to just uh, add your payment method and in here you will have to keep one thing in mind that when I select a provider here, uh, the ones at the top means that these are available in your country. But the ones that you see, they, they say that unavailable in your country, then you will not be able to connect that platform. So keep in mind to check if it's available or unavailable uh, or unavailable in your country. Uh, so you can see we have all of these unavailable right now. You can even change your country if you want to. But of course, uh, with your business detail, you won't be able to do so. So you will have to go with the currency and the country that you have for your store. And then according to that they will show you the best payment method we also have a payment method for testing um so you, this is like a test payment method that we can go for so you can activate this one if you have a new store and you will be able to then check out your orders you will be able to actually see how the checkout looks and this is a testing method available uh, so you can see it is going to stimulate approved transaction decline transactions and a gateway uh, failure so this is how the testing uh, works you can just activate it anytime you want to uh, within payment providers again we have all of these different methods available so you can go ahead and actually set up your shopify payments because now you have all of these different payment providers available and it's actually really easy it's available inside your settings on shopify make sure to connect a payment method so that you can accept your payments very easily and make secure transactions this way you will be able to sell more products and satisfy your customers and also run a successful business online. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.